management options for larger renal stones are tailor made. We have to map the patient's kidney and the stone according to the imaging which is available. The imaging will guide us how the stone is located, what is the size of the stone, what is the site of the stone, what is the position of the stone in that particular kidney, how that kidney is anatomically oriented in the body and after this we plan out the procedures which needs to be done for this stone removal. The procedure may be multiple like we can do percutaneous puncture of the kidney and removal of the stone which is PCNL. We can do combined approach from the retrograde part and PCNL both together during the same sitting or a laparoscopy surgery to remove the stone or an open surgery to remove the stone. We have to consider all the options according to the patient, the imaging, patient's morbidity, patient's fitness for anesthesia and we will ask the patient's opinion. We will discuss everything and we will decide what to do in this patient. The PCNL, the full form means percutaneous nephrolithotomy, means to remove the kidney stone, we have to puncture the kidney and make a track inside the kidney, put the endoscope in that track, fragment the stone and remove the fragments. PCNL can be done in supine position or prone position, means patient can lie down straight or over the belly. Then first of all we do under ultrasound guidance or fluoroscopy, means x-ray guidance, puncturing the kidney. Once we puncture the kidney with the needle, we dilate that track over the guide wire with the dilator. This is the dilator. So serial dilatation is done and dilating the main track with the stainless steel dilators like this. Once this dilatation is done, we will put the amplar sheath which is looking like this. Once the amplar sheath is in place, we will put the nephroscope into the amplar sheath. Once the nephroscope is in the place, we break the stone with pneumatic lithotripsy or laser lithotripsy and remove the fragments by the forceps. At the end of procedure, we will put a tube to keep that track as a patent. PCNL is minimally invasive, each leads to higher stone free rates. There are no scar on the body or inside the body over the kidney and there are less re-surgery rates for this. So these are the advantages. PCNL is having little bit of risk which are very rare situations which can lead to bleeding from the kidney. After the operation there is chance of little bit for, of pain for one or two days and there is chance of stone which is residual. But we have the modalities to manage all of this. So we can comfortably say that for large renal stone, the PCNL is the one of the best option available. Mm -hmm.